Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Justin Kenward, and tonight is Friday night. I'm all alone at home. Um, boyfriend's out of state, roommate is out for the night, so I figured I'd jump on camera and record an app called, an app game called What If, where basically you're asked a series of what if questions. You know what, I see, oh, it's coming from my phone. I'm gonna take the glasses off, because I'm getting glare. Wink, wink. Um, anyway, series of what-if questions, and you answer them. If I do it right, you'll see the, 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 the question, the screen that I'm recording on my phone right here. So, what if you slept well every night and woke up very happy and refreshed every morning, but you'd have to sleep alone for the rest of your life? Oh, you know what? I accidentally answered this one. Okay, moving on. Okay, sorry. I accidentally answered that one. I, I, I don't know what I asked. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I just, I made a mistake and accidentally tapped the screen while I was getting the recording ready. Okay. What if your lifespan is increased by 50 healthy years, but you step on a Lego brick when you least expect it a couple of times a day for the rest of your life? Oh, I don't know if you've ever stepped on a Lego brick. It sucks. It hurts. I'm going to say no. Let's see how many people agree with me. No. 52% answered like you. So, very good. Most people would rather not walk on Legos for the rest of the, for 50 years. Those 80, 48 percent of you, you're sadistic. I don't, I don't. What? Why? Why would you do that? That's like rocking on. No. Anyway, moving on. What if everyone you got attract? What if everyone you get attracted to are attracted to you? But. <laughs> You sh yourself every time you kiss someone for the first time. Oh. So, I could have anybody my heart desires. If I'm okay with the first kiss resulting in me pooping my pants. But just the first kiss for each person. <coughs> um... Mm. I mean, this is kind of a, a catch-22, because if you think about it, that, that first, you only need one person to be attracted to you, and hopefully that, that, but so many things in life don't work out, and the relationships, they, they crash. I, I I'm going to say no to this one. All right, 66% of people answered just like me. What if you can never catch a cold, but you may never have a... Wait, sorry, I misread that. What if you can never catch a cold, but you may never have matching shoes? Seriously? I mean, is this even a question? I would gladly sacrifice every cold ever if my shoes were mismatched. I'm good with this. Seriously. Wow. 34, only 34 people answered like me. 66 people would rather have colds than not have matching shoes. Weird. Y'all are weird. I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even get this logic. No colds. No sniffling, no coughing, no laying in bed, dying. Well, not not actually dying, but, you know, metaphorically dying of a cold. You'd rather have matching sh- moving on. <clears throat> what if you got over 100 likes on every photo you posted on Facebook, but you have to squint excessively and put your fingers up your nose at all the pictures. Um, I guess I'm curious as to what end. 
I mean, am I making monetization off these photos? Am I getting money when people look at these photos? Based on the information here, I'm not really getting anything out of it financially or anything else that I can tell other than popularity, and I've never been one to care much about popularity, so I'm going to push no. Okay, 88% of people answer like that, like me, which means 88% of you don't understand why you would do this. Okay, good job, team. Moving on. What if people drop their pants right away if you squint at them, but you may never wear a cap or sunglasses ever again? So every time I do this with my eyes, the person I'm doing that at has to drop their pants. Just randomly drop their pants for because I squinted at them. But I'm not allowed to wear a cap, as in a hat, or sunglasses ever again. Well, considering I don't wear hats or sunglasses, I that's not a big concern anyway. I'm just not sure I have the right to do this to people. But you know what? For the lols, I'm going to push yes. 59% of people answered like me. 59% of people who answered this question are perverts. I, I, I'm just saying. You know what? I'm going to share that one on Facebook, actually. What if your dream job is yours, but you get your salary paid in chocolate bars? Ugh. Um... That's hard, actually. I'm gonna take a, a moment to drink some tea and think about this one. <sighs> I was thirsty. Okay, so of course I want my dream job, but does it do me any good if I can't pay my bills? Unless my landlord's gonna take chocolate bars for rent. I... <sighs> oh. I'm sorry, dream job. I'm gonna have to say no to you. It looks like I'm not alone. It means 86% of people realize that you can't pay your rent in chocolate bars. Yeah, I want my dream job, but no, not for chocolate bars. What if you can never lose, but you can not fall in love? So let's define lose as in not succeeding at a game or in life, business. Let's just chalk lose up to the greater cir the greater circle of everything. You just have good fortune, good success in life, game, video games, board games, card games, lottery, etc. You you cannot fall in love. That's a hard one, actually. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and push no on this one because what's the point of love without or money without happiness 82 percent of people answered like me meaning i'm not that special i'm nobody special actually i am just like 82 percent of most people what if you never needed to sleep but you died 20 years prematurely Ugh. i'm gonna say no all right 84 percent of people answered like me what if the first thing you hear every morning is, I love you, but it is always different people who say it? Then what's the... What's the point? I mean... I feel like... N no. Is going to be my answer. Because why? Why? I, can I have a connection with somebody new every single day? Can I actually love them? I'm gonna say no. 63% answered like me. Okay. What if the sun shines when you are happy, but it rains when you are sad? You know, I'm sorry to say that I I experience a lot more moments of sadness than I care to admit. So, to think that I would have to be sad and dealing with really bad traffic because of rain, I'm going to say no to that. Okay, well, I am actually on the minority of this one. 22% of people answered like me. That is 22% of the people who've played this game and answered this question. 
78% of people would like it to rain when they're sad and be sunny when they're happy. I guess because that creates a, a clear-cut narrative in their life. It, it's very obvious when... to I don't know. I'm thinking it, it just makes a clear clear na narrative. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's keep, Let's keep going. What if you became twice as attractive, but half as smart? Ugh. See, here's a problem. I'm not all that smart to start with. So, this would really hurt me. However, pretty people... Yeah, sorry. Pretty people get it a whole lot easier in life. I mean... It's, it's been proven that students are more like, sorry, teachers are more likely to give their pretty students, their good looking students, better grades. You're more likely to get a free drink at a bar when you look pretty. Everything about this question, or rather everything about my own personal insecurities, is telling me to push yes on this. So, bam. 31% answered like me, 69 said no. Okay. Actually, the more I think about it, really? Half as... being half as smart as I am now is... because I'm not all that smart means, like, I'm not losing that much smart. Anyway, moving on. What if you can never get fat, but you are never hungry? What if you can never get fat, but you are never hungry? See, I like this. I could do with this. Because the only reason I'm fat now is because I'm constantly hungry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, I, I would like to be not fat and never hungry. That seems like a good deal for me. I'd save so much money on food, and apparently 70% of people are like me. I'm going to share that one on Facebook because I, I like that. Um, dot, 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 capitals, duh, yes, please. P -L -E -A. Um, duh, yes, please. Post. <clears throat> Iced tea. It's not actually Starbucks, it's just in a Starbucks cup. I brewed it myself. What if every orgasm... <laughs> orgasm. What if every orgasm feels like the best one ever, but you have an orgasm every time someone talks to you? Sorry, I had to stop and think about that. What if every orgasm feels like the best one ever, but you have to or but you have an orgasm every time someone talks to you? Oh, <laughs> this question's funny. I like this question. Okay, best orgasm ever, every time. Every time someone talks to you. Yeah. I don't know if I could handle that. Like, I want to say yes to this. I really do. But then I think about if I'm sitting in a meeting and some my boss directs a question to 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 me, and I just start jizzing all over the place. Or an interview. What if I get that interview for the perfect job and I spend the entire entire interview with jizz just oozing from my crotch. <sighs> I'm gonna say no. Okay, 74% of people answer just like me. What if you... <laughs> Sorry. This is, this is one of those silly things. Ugh. What if you got a combination of 30 stars 
uh, to perhaps buy a new mode. But you had to answer yes and let us take you there. So basically this is one of their their in-game advertising thing. If you look at the top of the screen, I have 68 stars. I'm going to for the sake of finishing this video, I'm 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 not going to say I'm going to say no to this. This is most people uh, didn't answer like me. Okay, moving on. What if you have a had a magic carpet? Sorry. What if you had a magic carpet, but you are not allowed to get off of it? Well, then no, no, I don't want it. I mean, at some point I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom, and I don't want to do it dangling from a magic carpet. I mean, sure, I'd be able to go everywhere, but I feel like I'd have a really hard time explaining this in public. So, no, I'm going to say no. Okay, most people answered like me. What if you enjoy sex twice as much, but your partner enjoys it half as much? Hmm. It would be really selfish of me to say yes to this. Unless... My partner actually enjoys it too much, and I don't enjoy it enough. That could be a scenario where this might work. Because then it kind of balances... Takes it back into the, you know, the... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Let's see how many people are greedy. Oh, nope, no. Apparently, 72% uh, of people who played this would like their partner to enjoy it as much as them, at least. That's very noble. I, I, I gotta say, I didn't give that much credit to society. What if you could have any other superhero... Any other? Oh. What if you can have any superpower... Ugh. Sorry. What if you can have any one superhero's power, but a supervillain will always be looking to get you killed? <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and say no to this. Because I really don't want people to try and kill me. It's not a thing. It's close, but the majority of people would rather have a superpower and have their life in constant risk of... Yeah. What if you could accomplish anything, but you had to sacrifice time, sweat, and tears to make it? Isn't that life? Isn't this life? I mean, let me read this again. What if you could accomplish anything, but you had to sacrifice time, sweat, and tears to make it? That's life. This is getting up every morning and going to work, even if you have the flu, or you're going through a breakup, or your parent passes away. This is life. I'm going to say yes to this. Okay. Most people answered yes, like me. I'm, I'm curious how many people realize this is what they do on a daily basis, but okay. Okay, so that's 20 questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video, and I'm going to make a second, second part of this video, and stay tuned for that.